like you said, what money is. Mm -hmm. Before you took a thing, that class, did you ever think about what problems money solved, what it was? Where it's function for you? No, not really. Not really. I, I mean, I would say like maybe a little bit for me just because um, of the situation back home where inflation is ridiculous and mm -hmm. the value of our currency has depreciated. But I mean, aside from that, not really. I just really thought it was um, a means to get what I needed and that was it. I think um, I did, I, I have a background in finance, so I did think about it in certain aspects, but not necessarily where the origin of money came right. from, you know, like what was, makes it valuable? Exactly what makes it valuable and why yeah. it was developed in the first place, you right. know, to solve, mm. you know, to solve certain yeah. issues that you have with trading with yes. I need this and you have that and how are we going to make this exchange right. if what I have is not exactly what you need at that specific time. So I'm right. just going to have to do without. Well, sure. we develop a currency, we, you mm -hmm. know, develop money and Paper that money. solves that problem. I thought paper money was interesting, like yeah. how that came to be um, after the whole gold, gold standard. But um, yeah, I mean, I have times where I just look at the, you know, a dollar bill, and I'm like, why is this person taking this <laughs> yeah. dollar bill? Like, why is that important? Why does or, this mean something? Yeah, why does this mean something right. to you? But beyond that, not really. Yeah, I never thought about money beyond. I know that I need money to live. Mm -hmm. That was it. I never really thought about. Oh, why do you need money to live? Why did we create money? Right. Why is it necessary? And you actually start to get into that. What is money? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a store of value. It's mm -hmm. a medium of exchange. Yeah. So I never thought about those things until I started getting into fintech. Even throughout some of my finance courses, I never really thought about what money really is. It was just numbers as far as I was concerned. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting. Um, foundations of fintech, I think there was a part in there about um, shells. I want to say yes yes and so yes. i'm sitting there thinking like oh well why can they take shells and you know we're, we're, we're exchanging paper right. money so right. the idea like you said you're touching on a couple of a couple of um characteristics that make money what it is but the the idea that like they're exchanging shells and we're exchanging mm -hmm. paper money but in, in the essence it kind of holds the same value yes. of being a medium of exchange mm -hmm. and a store of value so Bitcoin, is that money? Uh, what did you think about it? <laughs> what did you think before, before the class? What did you think about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin after yeah. studying about money? What do you think now? Um, with Bitcoin, it, taking the classes really didn't change my thoughts on Bitcoin. Because mm -hmm. from the beginning, I always questioned, I was like, well, what do I know? Our money has value because of the system. Right. The backing. And with Bitcoin, it was all about what you. My thought was, what utility does it have? How can I spend this? Because I was like, I can't go to McDonald's and buy something with Bitcoin. Still can right now. Buy Bitcoin as well. And then you started. I started looking at the, as I traded. I started looking at the value fluctuation. I was like, well, this fluctuates way too much for it to even be mm. feasible to use it. But um, I actually learned the technology behind it. Now, that was really interesting because blockchain technology itself yes. has a lot of different applications other than just cryptocurrency. Right, right, right. But Bitcoin itself and not cryptos, really. I'm just not sold on it. Yeah, I'm not either. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piggyback off of what you said about blockchain because before taking this class, I was very, I'm a very, I'm conservative when it comes to cryptocurrency just mm -hmm. because, like you mentioned, I need to know what utility it has for me, you know, not for right. everyone else. I need to know what it has for me in my day-to-day -day life, you know, if, can, if I can use it at Walmart, if I can use it at the gas station, if I can use it, you know, when I'm going out to dinner to pay rent, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if I can't use it, well, then, you know, I, I'm just going to put yeah. it, the, you know, in, in the, on the back burner. But after taking these FinTech courses and I'm really learning exactly what it takes to, to you know, um, build you know blockchain technology and everything like that um i think it's validating it a lot more for me in my head at least i don't think i'm ready to make that jump just as yet but i'm heading into the direction of having consider it having to consider it because or wanting to consider it just because 
I know the technology behind it now. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, so it's making me a little bit more comfortable with the idea. Okay. I can agree with that. That's, yeah. a, that's so a good point. Yeah, I would, I mean, I'm out for the count. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> I'm very much of the sense that if I don't understand it, even after researching it, I probably won't put like yeah. my full backing into it. But I will say that, yeah, to, to both of your points, like the, the technology behind it is really interesting. So it's fascinating to know that that's kind of behind what Bitcoin is, but I don't see it as being a medium of exchange, like to your point, you know, like I can't go next semester to like a Mac store and be like, will you take my Bitcoin to pay for or pay tuition, my new <laughs> iPad or something? You know, you can't do that just yet. And I know that in theory, right, that's what they kind of want to go for. I don't see that being plausible in the near future as, as, as long as, you know, we're in the industry. I don't really see that coming mm -hmm. about. Um, particularly with the governments kind of trying to come in and yes. create a little bit of competition on their end as well. Because right. exactly. they, they always want a little bit of the cut, so I don't really... <laughs> I, I've grown to respect the technology behind it. I don't, I'm not there yet in terms of accepting it as money, per se. 